What's going on guys, Matt here from Become Elite and today I wanna to tackle a question that I probably get on a weekly if not daily basis and that's can I lose fat and gain muscle at the same time? So this idea of losing fat and building muscle at the same time is referred to as body recomposition and it's a very attractive idea for players out there who have a body that I would call skinny fat. And this skinny fat body type is when you have significantly less muscle than a pro footballer but you also have significantly more fat than a pro footballer. So you're stuck in this awkward zone of needing to build muscle and lose fat and many players wonder if they can do that at the same time. So in this Two Minute Tuesday I'm going to look into the science behind body recomposition. So let's throw the time up on the screen. Let's ignore it completely because this video is not going to be under two minutes and let's get started. So first things first, we need to find out if body recomposition is even possible in the first place. If we look at this research study titled higher compared with lower dietary protein during an energy deficit combined with intense exercise promotes greater lean mass gain and fat mass loss, a randomized trial posted in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. We can see that through a caloric deficit, through higher levels of protein and through a rigorous resistance training program, individuals can can lose fat and gain muscle at the same time. The same exact findings were also found in this research study, effect of a hypocaloric diet, increased protein intake, and resistant training on lean mass gains and fat mass loss in overweight police officers. Where once again, participants were able to lose fat and gain muscle at the same exact time through a rigorous resistance training program, a slight caloric deficit, and increased levels of protein intake. And that's just a couple studies out of many that have found the same exact thing, that body recomposition is possible. But before all you guys go rush into a caloric deficit, you need to know that although body recomposition is possible, it definitely is difficult. That when we enter into a caloric deficit and we're eating less calories than our body needs, we reduce our body's ability to gain muscle. We reduce our body's muscle protein synthesis. And we can see this in this research study titled, Acute Energy Deprivation Affects Skeletal Muscle Protein Synthesis and Associated Intracellular Signaling Proteins in Physically Active Adults in the Journal of Nutrition. That was a pretty intense title, but basically they show the entering into a caloric deficit, we actually can reduce our body's muscle protein synthesis by 20 to 30%. And on top of that, if we look back at the first two studies that showed body recomposition was possible, and we look a little bit closer into the actual participants of the study, we can see that everybody that was tested was in the overweight category. They all had a BMI higher than 25. So when all of these people entered into a caloric deficit, they had a lot of fat stores on their body that could be used as energy throughout their day. I'm guessing the majority of you watching this video right now are not in the overweight category and the majority of you guys are in that skinny fat category and you exercise a lot, you train a lot, you work out a lot, but you still just want to get leaner and build a little bit more muscle. So yes, body recomposition is possible, but it's difficult and it might only be practical for people in that overweight category. But is it practical for you? Can you gain muscle and lose fat at the same time as a trained athlete who isn't overweight? Well, guess what? I found a great systematic review that looks at just that. In this research study titled, Body Recomposition, Can Trained Individuals Build Muscle and Lose Fat at the Same Time? published in the Strength and Conditioning Journal, they found that despite the common belief that building muscle and losing fat at the same time is only plausible in novice slash obese individuals, the literature provided supports that trained individuals can also experience body recomposition. The interesting part that they found when reviewing many different studies was that this body recomposition was accomplished in a variety of different ways. They found that just like in the other studies, athletes must participate in a resistance training program aimed at increasing strength and hypertrophy. But the nutrition side is a little bit more complex. They acknowledge that caloric deficits with high protein intake can lead to body recomposition, but they also found that high protein diets in a caloric surplus can also lead to body recomposition. They noted that body composition changes also depend on how much body fat the individual currently has. And honestly, that makes a lot of sense intuitively if we break that down and think about it. Because a high protein caloric deficit should be better for somebody who's slightly more overweight, but still looking to to lose fat and build muscle, while a high protein caloric surplus is gonna be better for somebody who's slightly skinnier that's also looking to 
build muscle and lose fat. Regardless though, despite whether it was a caloric deficit or a caloric surplus, majority of participants were able to do body recomposition with a high protein diet and almost all participants had to enter into a rigorous resistance training program in order to do so. So to sum this all up, what does this mean and what are my recommendations for you? Well, one, body recomposition definitely is possible. You can lose fat and gain muscle at the same time and it's typically done through a moderate to high protein intake between 0.7 and 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day, in addition to a rigorous resistance training program two to three times per week. And secondly, whether you enter into a caloric deficit, caloric maintenance, or caloric surplus is gonna depend on how much fat stores you have on your body. So while everybody might have the same goals of building muscle and losing fat, you have to look at yourself and say, am I on the heavier side of the skinny fat, the slightly overweight skinny fat, or I'm more skinny skinny fat and if you're more on the fat side of skinny fat it might be better to enter into a slight caloric deficit and if you're more on the skinny side of the skinny fat it might be better to enter into a slight caloric surplus and if you honestly are right in the middle it might be good just to stay in that caloric maintenance and lastly be aware that doing both at the same time can be very difficult and although it's possible, you might be reducing how much muscle you can gain and how much fat you can lose and be stuck in this limbo where you're not really accomplishing either goal. Sometimes it might be better to focus 100% of your efforts on one goal at a time, whether that's to build muscle first or to lose fat first. Anyway, guys, that is the science behind body recomposition. I'm not even gonna ask how I did on time because I know I'm over, but this was the first two minute Tuesday of 2021. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace. Oh, 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 oh.